In a tranquil village nestled among rolling hills and ancient forests, there lived a wise old monk. The monk was known throughout the land for his profound wisdom and serene presence. His temple, perched atop a mountain, was a sanctuary for those seeking enlightenment. People from all walks of life climbed the steep path to seek his guidance. One day, a young man, burning with the desire for wealth and success, made his way to the temple. As he reached the summit, he found the monk meditating by a peaceful pond, surrounded by cherry blossom trees. The young man bowed deeply and spoke, Master, I seek your wisdom. I yearn to be rich and successful. Please teach me the way. The monk opened his eyes and looked at the young man with a gentle smile. Riches and success come in many forms, he said. True wealth is not measured by gold or possessions, but by the richness of one's life. If you wish to be truly rich, you must make seven sacrifices. These sacrifices will transform your life and lead you to the true wealth you seek. The young man listened intently as the monk began to explain each of the seven sacrifices. The first sacrifice, time. The monk began, the first sacrifice you must make is time. Time is the most precious resource we have, yet it is often wasted on trivial pursuits. To be rich in life, you must invest your time wisely. The young man pondered this. But how can I sacrifice time, master? I only have so much of it. Precisely, replied the monk. You must learn to prioritize. Sacrifice the time you spend on distractions and invest it in activities that nourish your soul and mind. Study, meditate, and work towards your goals with unwavering focus. This will not only lead to success but will enrich your spirit. The young man nodded, realizing that his days filled with idle entertainment and procrastination were holding him back. He resolved to change his habits and devote his time to meaningful pursuits, the second sacrifice, ego. The monk continued, the second sacrifice is ego. Ego blinds us to our true potential and alienates us from others. To be truly rich, you must let go of your ego. But master, the young man protested, isn't confidence important for success? There is a difference between confidence and ego, the monk explained. Confidence comes from a place of self-assurance and humility, while ego is rooted in arrogance and insecurity. Sacrifice your ego by embracing humility, listening to others, and being open to learning. This will create deeper connections and open doors you never imagined. The young man reflected on his interactions with others. He saw how his ego had often led to conflicts and missed opportunities. He vowed to practice humility and be more receptive to others' perspectives. The third sacrifice, comfort. The monk then said, the third sacrifice is comfort. Comfort zones are places of stagnation. To grow and achieve true wealth, you must step out of your comfort zone. The young man frowned. But why is comfort bad, master? Isn't it natural to seek comfort? Comfort can lead to complacency, the monk replied. When you challenge yourself and face your fears, you grow stronger and more resilient. Sacrifice your comfort by embracing challenges and taking risks. This will lead to personal growth and greater achievements. The young man recalled times when he had avoided challenges out of fear. He realized that his greatest moments of growth had come from pushing his boundaries. He resolved to embrace discomfort and seek out new challenges, the fourth sacrifice, attachment. The monk continued, the fourth sacrifice is attachment. 
Attachment to material possessions and desires can weigh you down and prevent you from achieving true wealth. The young man was puzzled. But master, aren't material possessions necessary for a comfortable life? It is not the possessions themselves, but the attachment to them that is the issue, the monk explained. When you cling to material things, you are bound by them. By sacrificing attachment, you free yourself from this bondage. Focus on what truly matters, relationships, experiences, and inner peace. The young man thought about his obsession with acquiring more wealth and possessions. He realized that despite having many things, he often felt empty. He decided to shift his focus from acquiring to appreciating what he already had and nurturing his relationships. The Fifth Sacrifice, Control The fifth sacrifice, the monk said, is control. We often seek to control every aspect of our lives, which leads to stress and frustration. To be truly rich, you must sacrifice the need for control and embrace the flow of life. The young man looked confused. But master, how can I achieve my goals if I don't control my path? There is a difference between guiding your actions and controlling outcomes, the monk replied. Set your intentions and work diligently, but be open to the unexpected. Life is full of surprises and opportunities that we cannot foresee. By letting go of the need for control, you allow life to unfold in its natural way, often leading to greater outcomes than you imagined. The young man reflected on his rigid plans and how often they led to disappointment. He decided to set his goals but remain flexible, trusting in the journey and its lessons, the sixth sacrifice, ignorance. The monk continued, the sixth sacrifice is ignorance. Ignorance limits your understanding and growth. To be rich in life, you must seek knowledge and wisdom. The young man nodded eagerly. I understand, master. I will read more books and study hard. Knowledge is not just found in books, the monk said. It is also found in experiences, conversations, and self-reflection. Sacrifice ignorance by being curious, asking questions, and learning from every situation and person you encounter. The young man realized that he had often dismissed others' viewpoints and clung to his own beliefs. He resolved to be more open-minded and to learn from the world around him. The Seventh Sacrifice, Self Finally, the monk said, the seventh sacrifice is self. The self is an illusion that separates us from the world and from each other. To be truly rich, you must transcend the self and see the interconnectedness of all life. The young man was perplexed. But master, how can I sacrifice myself? I am who I am. The self is not your true essence, the monk explained. It is a construct of your mind. By sacrificing the self, you awaken to a deeper reality. Practice compassion, kindness, and selflessness. See others as extensions of yourself. This will lead to profound inner peace and a sense of unity with all life. The young man reflected on his actions and saw how often they were driven by selfish desires. He resolved to cultivate compassion and to act with kindness, seeing himself as part of a greater whole. With the monk's guidance, the young man embarked on his journey of transformation. He sacrificed his time, investing it in study and meditation. He let go of his ego, embracing humility and learning from others. He stepped out of his comfort zone, facing challenges with courage. He released his attachment to material possessions, focusing on relationships and experiences. 
he relinquished his need for control, trusting in the flow of life. He sacrificed his ignorance, seeking knowledge and wisdom from every source. And he transcended his self, practicing compassion and kindness, as the years passed, the young man transformed. He became wise and serene, his life rich with meaning and fulfillment. He achieved success not just in wealth but in the depth of his relationships, the breadth of his knowledge, and the peace of his spirit. One day, he returned to the temple to thank the monk. Master, he said, I have made the seven sacrifices and my life is richer than I ever imagined. I understand now that true wealth is not measured by gold but by the richness of the soul. The monk smiled, his eyes twinkling with joy. You have learned well, my son. Remember, the journey of sacrifice is ongoing. Continue to live with mindfulness and compassion, and your life will remain abundant. The young man bowed deeply, filled with gratitude. As he descended the mountain, he felt a profound sense of peace and fulfillment. He understood that true wealth was not something to be acquired but something to be cultivated within. And with each step, he carried the monk's wisdom in his heart, living a life of true richness and abundance. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.